While governors continue to slowly reopen their economies, there is growing discussion regarding whether the lockdown measures imposed infringe on constitutional rights. This as some doctors believe there could be a second wave of coronavirus cases in the fall. Here to discuss this further is public affairs consultant and fellow at the Centennial Institute at Colorado Christian University, Kelly Sloan. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. In your op-ed in the Washington Examiner, you refer to the rule of law and believe it's best summarized by the late 19th century British jurist A.V. Dicey. Talk about that and how it relates to the lockdown orders. Sure. So, Mr. Dicey, he's probably the foremost uh, historical uh, figure that you know talked about rule of law and kind of defined it for uh, for Western civilization, at least as in terms as we know it uh, in the uh, English Anglo-Saxon tradition. And he essentially said, if I may quote him, that uh, uh, in the first place, we mean that no man is punishable or can be lawfully made to suffer in body or goods except for a distinct breach of law established in the ordinary legal manner. So I think that's kind of where we're running into some issues with a lot of these lockdown orders that are being imposed by some of these governors, including ours in Colorado here, is you know, are these more arbitrary uh, or were they done in a legal manner? Now, one thing that I think we do need to recognize and conservatives need to recognize, especially those of us who are pushing back against you know, some of the more authoritarian uh, orders, is that most of these were put in place properly and legally. They were uh, emergency powers given to governors uh, by legislatures in some cases decades ago. I know in Colorado, our emergency orders were granted to the governor back in the, in the 90s. So when we do start to push back in some of these, we need to realize that, you know, we, we do have, there is a way to do it. There is a process in place in the United States, a system that, you know, we just uh, recognize Memorial Day and those who fought to preserve not just the rights, but the system that uh, helps us protect those rights. So there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And as we get more and more, people are getting more and more restless. And especially as governors keep this going probably longer than they ought to, you're gonna see people push back. But I do think we need to uh, uh, realize that uh, some of this should be done through the courts. And most importantly, that legislatures going forward now need to really look at the powers that they've given these governors and see it how much they need to start rolling those back uh, legislatively. It seems there are fewer protests as more states slowly reopen their economies, but what are some problems that are still lingering from these lockdown orders? Well, I think the, initially it's the economic issue with it, as, as you're, it's very tough, especially for us as conservatives and, and as Americans, to have the government tell us that we cannot enjoy our property, meaning our businesses. We cannot go out and make, make money. We cannot go out and make a living as, as we see fit. Uh, so that's probably the first impetus behind a, a, lot, of the, a lot of the pushback. Uh, and then just the, you know, the longer people are being told to stay at home, not to congregate, uh, certainly not to go to church. I mean, that's one of our, one of our first freedoms is the freedom to worship. Uh, just kind of that you know, kind of that lingering sense of, of authoritarianism that we didn't directly grant to uh, to the government to to impose on us. Uh, so I think you're right. It is starting to, to back off a little bit as states open up. But as some of these orders kind of linger and some of the some of the uh, some of the strictures that the government has imposed drag on and on, I think you're going to start seeing more pushback. And one thing I didn't really cover in the column, but uh, another part of this is that it's kind of the lesson we got from prohibition as well. If you have so many of these laws that people just won't uh, won't respect or they, or they can't respect, um, nobody's going to we're not going to stay locked down forever. And longer this goes on, the more people are going to start uh, breaking the laws uh, as it is, and that's going to cause its own set of problems. Once you break one rule, it's easier to break the next rule, and you kind of get this overarching sense of lawlessness. I think governors, uh, health departments, you know, people in charge need to start recognizing that this is not sustainable and they need to address this properly and start giving some of these freedoms back to the people before this gets out of control. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.